three dimensional shapes. Hmm. What is the meaning of three dimensional shapes? Oh, I really don't understand. Hi, why are you sitting here all alone? Are you alright? I don't think I want to go to school tomorrow. Why? What's wrong? It's my mathematics homework. I just don't know how to do it. What's it on? Three dimensional shapes. Hey, I'm good at that. And I've got lots of VCDs on three dimensional shapes at home. I'm sure the VCDs will be able to help you. Really? Come on, let's go over to my house and we'll watch it together. That's great, let's go. Hello friends, I'm Miko. I have an interesting topic for you to learn. It's about three-dimensional shapes. Welcome to the three-dimensional world. Okay, let me go through some three-dimensional shapes which I think you already know. This is a tissue box. Do you know what its shape is? That's right, it's a cube. This can is in the shape of a cylinder. This is a cylindrical can. This is a cone-shaped party hat. Can you name other objects that have those shapes? Well, let me introduce you to a new member of the 3D family. Boys and girls, let's make some new friends. Let's get to know the... Prism family! Friends, there are three different types of prism. Let's find out more about them. Hi, I am a rectangular prism. People call me a rectangular prism because my base is a rectangle. Now, let me describe my features. This is my vertex. Um, I have eight vertices. This is my face. I have six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And here is my edge. I have twelve edges. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I have only one base and it is rectangular in shape. Hello, I'm a triangular prism. They call me a triangular prism because my base is a triangle. To help you understand me better, let me describe my features to you. I have six vertices and I have five faces. One, two, three, four, 
and five. This is my edge. I have nine edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I have only one base and it is triangular in shape. Whee! Hi, you've met my friends and now it's time for you to get to know me. Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm a square prism. I think I'm the most popular 3D shape compared to my friends. <laughs> Don't tell them that I said that. Now, let me tell you about my special features. I have eight vertices. This is my edge. I have 12 edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. This is my face. I have six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is my base. It is a square. Phew! What talkative little prisms! But after all that they have said, I'm sure you can now easily identify three-dimensional shapes. All right, friends, we are going to a concert. Do you want to join us? Come on, let's go and have fun. Okay, friends, now we are going to sing a special song for you. For those who know the song, you can sing along. Let's sing together. Prisms are three-dimensional shapes We can find them all over the place Triangular prisms, rectangular prisms And square prisms are still prisms And they have vertices Ages, faces, and bases Without all these features, what would they be? Prisms? Shapes. We can find them all over the place Triangular prisms, rectangular prisms And square prisms are still prisms And they have vertices Ages, faces and bases Without all these features What would they be? Prisms? They sing so well, don't they? Hmm, hey, where are my friends? Triangular prism Rectangular prism Square prism Where are you? Please don't do this to me I don't know where they are Hmm, I think I'd better sit here and wait for them Hello, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I have to close this place, so you have to leave. Mm, please don't close it yet, please. I'm waiting for my friends. I think they're lost. Can you help me find them? Of course. How many of them are there? Three. Now, let's go to the lost and found office. You'll have to give me their descriptions so that it will be easier for me to identify them.
Okay now, describe your friends to me and I'll make some simple sketches. Okay, the first one is a triangular prism. She has six vertices, five faces and nine edges. Hmm, does she look like this? No, not really. Oops, I forgot to tell you about her base. Well, she has a triangular base. Oh, I see. Look at this. Does this look like her? Oh, yes. Definitely. That's her. All right. Now tell me about your two other friends. My second friend is a square prism. He has eight vertices, twelve edges, six faces, and has a square base. And my third friend is a rectangular prism. He has eight vertices, six faces, twelve edges, and his base is rectangular in shape. Hmm, look at this sketch. Does this sketch look like your friend? Oh yes, it does. And this one, is this your rectangular prism friend? That's him! Okay, now that I know what they look like, I'll be able to find them. Let's go. Hey, there they are. Hmm, you're right. That's the triangular prism, the square prism, and the rectangular prism. Where have you all been? I was so worried about you. Actually, we went to the toilet. And when we returned to our seats, you were gone. So, we decided to come here to report that you were missing. So it's solved then? Yes, sir, it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did you enjoy my little story? Can you identify three-dimensional shapes now? Good, then try this quiz. Describe the features of a triangular prism. It has six vertices. Five faces. Nine edges and a triangular base. How many edges does a square prism have? It has twelve edges. Did you answer all the quiz questions correctly? You did? Good! Well done! Okay, friends, it's time to go. I hope I've been able to help you. Bye! I'm sure you understand three-dimensional shapes now. Oh yes, the VCD was great. Thank you so much, Faisal. And you're a good friend. And it's getting late. I have to go home now and complete my homework. Thanks again. You're most welcome. Bye! Bye. This 
dice is three dimensional. It's a square prism. And this box of milk is a rectangular prism. And this box of chocolates is a triangular prism. Now I really understand the three types of prism, and it's actually quite interesting. I can't wait to go to school tomorrow and pass out my homework. I'm sure my teacher and my classmates will be surprised. <laughs>